This is a knife we just got back from our Generations program. Nice. A big chip. It looks like uh, somebody was not using it to cut. It looks like they were trying to use it as a pry bar or chopping through bone. We get these in once in a while. Uh, we make a we run a risk of making our edges really thin because I want people to be able to cut and sharpen them easily. Uh, they are not pry bars, <laughs> uh, but we'll send this person a new knife because we stand behind our, our knives. I'm just going through and reorganizing all the show stock stuff. Um, so a bunch of merch, a bunch of knives, the trailer, all the booth and the tables and everything. It's kind of a mess, but we're going through reorganizing it so we're ready for Portland in two weeks. Well, apparently my sniffer was broke because uh, that shit was disgusting. My half and half curdled terrible in there and I didn't see it until I took a drink and I did in fact actually gag. So now I'm just going with my Black Rifle Coffee Black, as I probably should have in the first place. This past weekend we were at Western Hunt Expo down in Salt Lake. I got to go on the live stage and do a question and answer with a bunch of guys. It was really cool. In the show, honestly, was just um, a banger right from the start. Half lost my voice over the weekend. The coolest thing is really is 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 getting that feedback from you guys of this is how many deer I've used on uh, you know your knives. This is how many elk I've used your knives on. How many people actually watch this content that we put out and really like to see it? It's pretty amazing. Uh, we got this blade back through our Generations program. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to it, um, but we're going to replace the blade. Um, we've got some stone walls getting blasted and the boys are going to parkerize it. I'm going to keep the handle that was originally on here, put it on the new blade, and then have the boys sharpen it and we'll ship it back. We're home. We're back in the shop. We have our chef's knife drop on Thursday. I'm home for two days and then we head to South Carolina for Winter Strong at Sornex. Uh, Bert Sorn and his guys put that on. Uh, it's the coolest event that we do of the year. Uh, it has a lot of meaning to me because it's where we launched Montana Knife Company where I took my prototypes and, and those people there are family. So. so these are locating pins and this is how they come in and this is what we have to turn them into to make them fit the CNC machines that we're running. So you would think that these CNC machines are plug and play, but they're not. There's a good bit of machining on the back end before we're ready to get spindles turning and running. All right, so we have our laser running back here today. And what I'm currently doing is taking our aluminum guide blocks and placing them on the laser plate trying to maximize how many blades we can do at once so the team can get all of our projects knocked out. Um, so I'm kind of just lining up light burn and making sure that everything runs smoothly. Jumping on. Begrudgingly. Unfortunately. <laughs> I'm using this drill to put a couple holes in the concrete there to uh, put this ledger on. And it's gonna be a shelf to hold Kydex sheets for the hot press. So this was a Generations Promise knife that came in yesterday, and when I opened it up and took a look at it, it had a pretty big chip in the blade. So this is a new blade that we uh, parkerized and lasered, and then we took the customer's handle off of his knife and put it on this new blade, put his sheath on the blade, and we'll get it shipped back out today. All right, so while Josh is out of town, I had the great honor of building this shelf for this Kydex table. So there's going to be sheets of Kydex right here, and you're just going to be able to slap them right on here, hot press them, and send them down the line. And uh, Travis got to paint it, cover up all my mistakes, and uh, yeah. Is that it? 25 years of painting experience has paid off. And a beautiful bench right there for the Cadex. That is a Mr. Clean sponge. Magic eraser, baby. I got shocked and then I dropped the sponge and which went through there, which went through the big old tank. Yeah, so I got the sponge, watched it go, tried to stop it, didn't react in time, and now Travis got it out of the drum, so we're good. Melissa almost ruined an $80,000 investment. <laughs>
I don't feel confident enough with the forklift, so Travis is gonna do it. I'm in training, but it's too much pressure. It's a living shit ton of beer. This is so nerve wracking. Say, it's all the flathead. So our chef sets dropped last night and I am printing the labels right now. I'm working on orange and black sets. Um, once I'm done up here, I'm going to bring these down to Boone and he's going to start packaging them all. I told you that would happen. <laughs> I told what? You. What is this? <laughs> it does look nice. You're just going to confuse the post office. Go <laughs> Eagles. I have a grand total of what you, zero experience pulling a trailer. That's not true. I have pulled like a fishing raft between, you know, like put-ins, but that's a little less serious than this. And I'm driving this to Portland for seven days. Should be fun.